ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, victims of all ages, wishing you guys a gracious good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be for you, wherever the fuck you are in the world. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a couple minutes today. I appreciate that. Guess what, guys? Guess what? Now, guess who woke up next to the love of their life and had sex this morning? Not this fucking guy. Not this fucking guy. You know, I can't figure it out. All I wanted, all, now listen, and now you're tisking over there. I don't want you to tisk. All I wanted was somebody who could suck it so good when she was done, the bed sheets was stuck up my ass. You know, but you, you, you're tisking. I meant that as a compliment. Guys, I meant that as a compliment. Like, she was sucking it so good, the bed sheets got stuck up. You know, but you, you're a girl though, so it ain't the same thing. Look. All I'm looking for is that one girl who's gonna give me that triple decker pecker wrecker. <laughs> How good you can say that shit. You guys are important, cared for, valuable, unbelievably appreciated. But no one has told you guys yet today. Just know that I fucking love you, man. I love you over here. This first video. We're like, hey, let's just check out some cops getting up. Sound good? This first one comes from my man Chad Alley, punking some cops on his property. Fuck them pigs, baby. Let's go. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Suck on this, you piece of shit. Trying to suspect us. So trying to suspect us of doing some kind of crime. I don't have to speak to you, sir. Why are you on our property? Sir. Since you're a public officer, can you identify yourself? Sir, since you're a public officer and you're on our property, can y'all identify yourself with y'all's name and badge number? Can y'all can y'all identify yourself? Deputy who? Can you get that light out of my face? Will you get that light out of my face? And what what, what is your name? What is your name, sir? What is your name, sir? You're a public officer and you're on my property. What is your name, sir? Rap. Who? Rap. Rap. State Constable Rap. State Constable Rap. Mm -hmm. And what is your name? Warner. Who's driving the Warner. And Rap. Where is your name tag, sir? Dead yeah, Yes, it does, sir. They don't issue all my business on here. So you're new and you don't have a name badge, but oh. you're on our property. Can you tell me why you're on our property yeah, tonight? It doesn't matter, ma'am. Okay, it does. It, 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 it doesn't matter, ma'am. You're on our property, ma'am. Now, are we being suspected of committing some kind of crime? Am I being suspected of committing some kind of crime? I'm, I'm being cooperative. You're just on my property, ma'am. Okay. Am I being suspected of committing... Suspicious activity, so that yeah. gives you proper yeah. calls to enter my. Speeding. Trying to avoid us, got away from us, okay? We're able to locate you. We're out here at this residence, and so we're here to talk to you about it, okay? So you're here to talk to me, but you're on my property? Right. You're on my property? Yeah, how, how do you know that? Do you, okay. do, you, do, you, do you have a tag number for. Yeah, my sergeant's got it on camera, okay? He's on his way out. Here. All right, good. Okay. I, I need to speak to your sergeant. I don't have to speak to you, ma'am. You got an ID? I don't have to speak to you, ma'am. This is my property. You got a name? This is my property, ma'am. You know, and I'm not it's being... So nothing's got me upset that you come, you know, my, my, my parents are here, you know, and this, this is our property, and you don't have any calls just because we have motorcycles, ma'am, does not give you the permission to come up on our property, ma'am. Am I being suspected of committing some kind of crime, ma'am? Possibly, yeah. I'm being, possibly? Yeah, that motorcycle is Okay, but, hold on. on the, on the roadway, on the public roadway, that avoided us, is parked in your yard. Okay? Was so you I'm running, ma'am, was you running code whenever you was behind this vehicle? Whenever I was behind. 
whenever whenever you found the motorcycle speedum, was you running code, ma'am? My sergeant was right behind it. Okay, uh, I'm I'm asking you, was you? I'm asking you, ma'am. Was was you running code? Well, this is our property, ma'am. Okay, and I understand that, but that's the public roadway, okay? He does not need to speed in our driveway, ma'am. Officer speeding in our driveway. Am I being suspected of committing some kind of crime, sir? You had a motorcycle this up here. How do you know it was that motorcycle, sir? I'm not sure, but I suspect you're, it to be. You're, you're suspected it to be? Okay. Well, that does not, you know, there's a million motorcycles on this road. So right now I'm um, asking you nicely to um, leave leave the property. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We we have no more to, to say here. Y'all y'all fellas have a nice night. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a great night. Y'all be blessed. All right, guys, that was my man, Chad Alley. Put yourself in his spot, man. Fucking police come running up on your fucking property to identify you. What do you say to them fucking pieces of shit? I know what I'm going to say to them fucking pieces of shit. You bet your ass. Hey, listen, let's keep right in the fucking spirit, man. Let's check out another cop getting known and humiliated. This one comes from Issue TV, baby. Let's go. In the other video, too. Yeah, I got you on a video for you coming over and harassing me every time. We come meet at Alberto's, me and my boys. So this is the last time you're going to harass me. You give me my ticket and do whatever you want, but I'm tired of you harassing me. What's your name again? Can I get your badge number for my recording, my evidence and everything? I'm trying to keep my distance and everything. I'm not trying to be... No, no, you're not feeding. Once it's on the, on the red tag, then you'll see it. But why are you red tagging me again? Why am I when my keys are not magnesium and I'm parked and I'm at a food restaurant where I paid and I'm eating again? So why are you uh, approaching you me again? Me? I'm not yelling, I'm making sure it stays on the speaker. I do have a case around my yeah. phone. Okay. Anything else? No. Yeah, I still want to know the reason why are you harassing me though? Why am I getting the ticket when my keys are not in ignition? And no time that I allow you and I advise you that it was okay for you to come to my car. You didn't tell me I let you see my car. So I came at you politely while I was on the phone, you came at me. Again, why am I getting harassed? Am I being detained? No, I'm asking you, am I being detained for the record? I want to know if I'm being detained. Oh, I'm being detained. What is the reason? I got the right to know the reason why I'm being detained. <laughs> you know the infraction right now. The infraction? Yes. What is the infraction? Is it a moving violation? And my keys are in the ignition? I know my laws too. I'm getting tired of getting harassed. I've been through the ref. I've been through three of them. I didn't pay for none of them because I've been through it. I'm getting tired of getting harassed. All these guys here know it. That's why they're going to tell you. I'm not going for this getting harassed. Okay, yes, sir. Yeah, I want to step okay. back too because I don't want you too close to me because I'm not being detained. You said it. No, no. I got my distance too. I don't want to get you too to close because I. Or not? Well, I don't know. What is he trying to show me, officer? I'm going to show you something that I got. What, a penal code? No. I got penal, penal codes code. too where it says you can't harass me. My okay, keys are not in the ignition. Me or not? You want to hear me out or not? You want to hear me out? You want to hear me out or not? I'm, I'm, am I being detained? You said I was and you still haven't gave me the reason. I'm going to turn out and let you No, I'm asking you, am I being detained for the record to know if I could step in my vehicle, if I could go on my way or anything? Am I being detained? You want me to show you something while I'm here? I'm asking you if I'm being detained, sir. You see this? You see, am I being detained? Have I asked them a couple of times if I'm being detained? And you're not answering my question. I have the right to ask you if I'm being detained. Hey, listen, listen, dude. You're, you're dramatic. Yeah, because I make a scene because I'm tired of people in blue uniform yeah. taking their badge okay. for granted. All right. All right. I pay taxes just like you. Okay. My dad served for you. My dad died. I'm tired of getting harassed for you. I carry his flag in my car. Why be quiet? I have the right to speak my mind at all times. You say that I'm not being detained and you're still right here parked in front of my vehicle. Leave, oh, well, get out of my way. I want to leave. leave. Yeah, get out of my way, please. If I get out of your way, you'll leave? Uh, maybe. Leave I got now. the choice. You're I just ate me. at Alberto's. I have my you're receipt. Asking me, you're asking me to move. So you I'm asking you if I'm being detained. You're parked in front of my car where I let you see my car where I have no problem. Only thing you say is that my suspension gave my damn ticket when I'm not even 
He's not even ignition. You have no right to come harass me. What's your officer? What's your name? You haven't gave it? 563. There you go. All right. Give you a ticket all you want, all right? Now listen to me, okay? Your, your suspension is modified, okay? Is it not modified? Your suspension. Ask me that question. For uh, rights? I don't want to say nothing that might incriminate okay. me. Okay. Am I being detained or am I being arrested? If I move my car, am I leave. being detained or no, arrested? You're no, you're not. Okay, thank you, sir. I want to. Okay. I want you to leave me alone and keep your distance, because now I'm feeling that you're invading my space. Look how far he is he from me to my car. He's saying I'm not being detained, okay. and now you're evading my space. All right. You want to please? You're evading my right. space, right. sir. Listen to me. Honestly, right. I'm gonna be I straight up with here. you. I came out here because there's obviously a car meeting here, brother. A car meet? No. Did I say meet. anything about a car meet? Yeah, I'm tired of getting harassed by you guys. Thank you very much, officer. No, you're out of control. If you have any reason to tell me again, recording, I don't have no problem with that. So what's your point? Listen to me, okay? I haven't been disrespectful to you at all. Yes, you have. You just come in harassing me, piercing that you're gonna give me a ticket for something that I haven't done. That's already harassment. My keys are not in the ignition. Exactly. Everybody see what they do? Don't be afraid of these people. Use your right. We all got them. All right. That's fine. No, it's recording better because it lets me know what it is that you said and everything. You said you were going to give me a ticket. I was. I was. You was. You know what? So was. what's the reason you're not again? Because you created a big scene here. Why? No, because I have the right of asking. No. You don't have the right I, directions I to give me then? Then no. you could get on your way just like that because, again, you're harassing me now. Sir, look, I'm going to step back. Can you step on your way and do your job and get criminals out there are really doing some crime? Can you do that? Are you afraid of other people that are really going to put up with are going to put up with you? I have no weapons. I have no reason for you to be afraid of me or nothing. You come harass me? Sir, let my taxes be used in something good. All right? Please. Other people in blue that my dad served did the right thing instead of you. You have a good night, sir. No problem. No problem. Your recording was nowhere in front of my car. Don't forget you were parked in front of my vehicle. Look. So we're recording. Oh, no problem. I'll go visit anytime. You have a good night, sir. All right, guys, how we doing? How do you think uh, issue TV did? Good, bad? Would you have done something different? Would you have said something different? I don't know, man. Make sure you guys let me know. Um, this next video comes from Texas Christopher. Listen, what the fuck is going on in Texas, guys? What is going on in Texas? I have another video about Texas tomorrow. But for right now, though, they just love to make sure they hand you a lawsuit in Texas, don't they? Check out my man, Texas Christopher, getting fucked over by some cops here, man. Texas Christopher, let's go. Where I'm stepping on traffic, you bucky. Don't walk up to my car, please. What? Don't walk up to my car, please. Hey, man, you can't drive through the parking lot like that. You got your uh, driver's license, sir? Any weapons in the car I need to worry about? Right, Ford, did you catch my traffic? Yes, I have you on top of the bus. Robert John Lindsay, 4732, Robert John Lindsay, 4732, Chicago 27. Is there any particular reason why you felt you needed to come to the parking lot like that? I don't think I did anything wrong. I just came over to get gas. You were speeding and you cut through parking spaces. You know you can't do that. It just can be confirmed on Robert. I didn't think I was doing anything, man. I mean, you were coming to get gas. Yep. Oh, are we going to go back and forth or are you just going to. You asked me a question. You want me to answer it or not? I'm not. Okay. Anything, I thought I was going even slower than normal. No, sir. You normally, were... people don't even park where you park, and that's the direct path to the gas pumps. Through the parking spaces is the direct I, real, I, re I do realize that. I, I know that there's parking spaces there. And you almost hit that car that was turning right there. I was watching, man. As soon I as you cut in front of me like yeah. that, I was like okay. looking, and I watched it happen. So I come here every day. There's almost never, ever, ever anybody. You were sitting there this morning. Now, uh, last week, for about three days, someone was parking there. But if I come here 365 days a year, which I do, 
there's someone sitting there maybe 10 times. So there's never ever a car there. So yeah, I go through there because it's the straight path from the entryway to here, which is what you're going to see everybody else do it. But I mean, you know, I, I hear you, man. I, I got it. To you, it looked like I was going fast. To me, I thought I was going even slower than normal because I didn't want to get too close to you. You fill up your car. Go ahead and fill up your car. Okay. I come here every day, dude. I send pictures of my wife, the price of the gas here, every right. day when I come through. Okay, look. So, anyway. Here's the deal, man. Okay. I'm not going to go back and forth and all that. I'm not going to write you tickets, but the only reason I'm not writing you tickets is because I'm out of tickets right now. Okay, otherwise you would be receiving a citation. For what? Would be the citation? I'm just curious. Just regarding traffic control device. On private property? Yes. Okay. You still, you still can't do that. It's still illegal. Okay. Okay. So I'm not gonna write you a ticket. Um, I, I hear you, man. I, I'm, I'm, I, but, I understand. Uh, I don't. One, I don't appreciate the attitude. <laughs> Two, I get it. You're upset. Nobody likes cops pulling them, pulling up on them. Nobody likes it. Okay. But you know you did wrong. You know you're not supposed to cut through the parking bar lot. And instead of being like, oh yeah, I messed up. Sorry, it won't happen again. You want to sit here and go back and forth with me, right? There's a lot better things than, than this to be doing for you. Man. You're right. I, I was working on a report. You can be over here. And the, I mean, you, there's people right now running you 90 go to miles jail? an hour on the you thing. You want to go to jail? So, you want to go to jail? You can go to jail for this. I, you can do what you want to do. I can't stop I you. don't want to take you to jail. No. That's, that is definitely a waste of my time. Okay? But the attitude is not necessary. I do. That's on your part, sir. I haven't been rude to you at all. Is very, uh, that's fine. I have a camera on. I, I can't okay. be rude to you. Okay. That's, all right. I will get in trouble. You go file a complaint. Based on my behavior, they will decide whether or not to get me in trouble. No, I, right I, I, yeah, I'm not worried about that. We're okay. good, man. Okay. We're all right, good. well, I'll make sure that I'm there all the time. If I see it happen again, then okay. we'll go from there, okay? Okay. All right. I'll look that law up on private property, too. I don't believe you have the authority to do anything here on this, on this parking lot like that. I could also take you to jail for Class B reckless driving. Okay. Or class, I'm sorry, Class A reckless okay. driving. Because you did almost hit that car. I didn't almost hit anybody. I was nowhere near. There's, there's cameras everywhere. You can do what you want to do, Harold. I can't stop you. If you want to be this way, then that's up to you. I'm trying to be a reasonable Are you person. A bad day, I, sir? I think is there that, a reason why you're not? I'm having a bad day because I, you're, have I raised because my you're voice doing to you this all? to me. Have I raised my voice to you at all, sir? You're the only one who's getting upset. I'm upset because I think this is ridiculous. I think this whole thing is ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. What do you specifically do you think is ridiculous? That we're even talking about nothing happened. And here we are talking, and you're threatening to take me to jail. No, I'm and so I shouldn't be getting awesome. upset. I don't call it a threat, sir. No, it's a threat. It's a that is a threat. You're threatening me under color of law now to, to take something on public color property, which I don't believe you even have the authority to do. A but now you're one term, to, sir. Okay. It comes from black laws. No, it's not. It's a class A misdemeanor for you to threaten or arrest me over something that you know is not really true. But that's well, okay. What's the penal code on that, sir? 
Trust me. That's okay. Trust it's okay. you. Okay. I, I we're, we're good. Trust you. We're good. I don't feel like we are. I feel like this is uh <laughs> this is this is a problem. How is, I feel it, like how is it a problem? I feel how like you're going problem? to continue to, to commit these behaviors that are unsafe and put people at risk. So you don't feel like you did anything wrong. There's something that's possible they may do in the future. So we're now, now we're playing John Claude Van Dam Future Cop, and you're gonna, you need to stop me from something I may do in the future. That's now your position. You're, you're feeling like you should take action because maybe sometime in the future I might possibly continue to do something. Come on. What is Again. the law designed to do, sir? Oh, I, I know you want it's designed compliance. To stop people I know, from doing I know you want voluntary compliance. I know you want voluntary compliance. Okay, let me put your hands on me. Okay. Wow. We'll do this a different way then. What is injury on my left arm? Uh, I'm buff. I mean, I don't. Would you like two sets of handcuffs? No, my head hurts. Okay, we can do two sets of handcuffs. Right there, God. I know. We can do two sets of handcuffs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sir, I'm concerned that you're going to continue to do this unsafe behavior. So. Yeah, I'm seeing. You want two sets of handcuffs? This hurts, yeah. man. It hurts. I can do two sets of handcuffs. I cannot believe that you're doing this, dude. Well, I mean, it, it didn't have to go this way. No, it never did. None of this ever had needed to happen. I don't believe okay. I disagree with you. Okay, I know. What would you Ow. like me to do with your car? You want to call somebody or uh, or, or do I tell it? Do we really need to do this, Harold? I mean, the... the, the I, I didn't think we did. I didn't think we did either, sir. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, you, you wanted to sit here and argue with me about what I observed with my own eyes. Okay, I'll go get a copy of the video. I didn't think we were close at all. I didn't Not think me. I was close you to didn't hit. I was talking about the white truck. Vehicle. Yes, you even know what truck I was talking about. Yeah. Okay, so. What? I didn't think we were close, sir. I really didn't. No, you were very close. They had to slam on their brakes. I watched it happen. Okay, you can't fly through the parking lot. Okay? So what are we going to do about the I car? I didn't think I was going that you, you certainly were, sir. You definitely were. Okay? You definitely were. Okay? So what are we going to do with the car? I don't want to tow it, because that's that, that'd be being a real dick, and I'm, I'm trying not to be a dick. Okay, what would you like me to do with the car, sir? I'm going to ask one more time, and then I'm going to have to have a toe. Can we back this down, dude? Can we cool off here, please? I'm it's, sorry, it's, it's, I, will, you, you, I will. You have forced my hand at this I point. I will. Because if I don't go and, and, and see will. this through to its conclusion, I know you're going to go to the police department and file a complaint on I'm me. Not now, the complaint's that, not going to do anything because I have it all on video. Everything is recorded. I'm, I don't talk to anyone in the public unless I have my camera on. Okay? I'm not going to go so, complain to Errol at all. I'm just a little upset because I, I really, honestly. Sir, I watched it I, happen. Uh, from I was my, working on a report. From my point I of definitely view, have better things to I do. I didn't think that I did anything, Harold. I didn't think I did anything. Well, and a it was lot very of people don't think that. But I explained it to you, and then you wanted to argue with me. Because I didn't think I did anything, Harold. I, still, I know I look young. I this still, is not my first day on the job, sir. I promise It's you. nothing to do with any of that. I didn't think I did anything. You almost hit that to, white truck. I agree with you that, that that's what you think. Then that, there's nothing I can do to change it's your all, point gonna of view. It's going to be on the cameras. I'm going to get copies of it. I didn't think I did anything. It was frustrating for me to try to explain to you that I didn't think that I did anything and you're not hearing me. I or hear you, sir. I disagree with you. So what do we want to do with the truck or with the car? I'll have to call my wife, I guess. Okay, well, let's call her. Where's your phone? 
It's uh, you know, well, it's in my pocket. I just got through sending her the message about the. Okay. Well, how about I'm gonna give you another set of handcuffs because, like I said, I understand if you got. Oh, let me stick this thing right here. What am I being arrested for, Harold? Disregarding traffic control device. Because a reckless driving charge is a much, much higher charge, and again, like I said, I don't want to be that big of a dick. Lean forward for me just a little bit. Get your phone out. Any firearms in the car need to know about it? Okay. No, it's not illegal to have a firearm, sir. True. I have multiple ones in the I understand. Various parts. Can you do some of this, please? We can. Hey, I need you to come over here uh, and get somebody to come pick up my car over here at uh, Bucky's in Texas City. Up to Texas City officer over here. Can you repeat the phone name? I know. So, I, my car is going to be, you'll, you'll find it over here on the end. So, yeah, I guess so. And then I'll just, I don't, well. I'll speak to her. We'll take your call. I'll give her a call if you want me to. I don't, yeah, I don't know what else. I need you to, you're going to have to cover the work. Okay. Uh, hey, I'm going to leave this phone in the car so that you can uh, get called. Okay, and then I, I don't know what how we're gonna handle that. So I'll get my other phone. Hey, we're gonna have one that's the thing that we need over here to watch the car. There's another phone right there. I'll get it. I'll take care of it. We'll put, you, we'll put another one on so you back in the road. Make it so it don't tighten it. Okay, have a seat. So you want this phone left in the car and the other phone coming with you? Where's it at? It's right in the middle. You see it off the parking lot. He came, so I was sitting, I was sitting right there, and he came through the parking lot and cut through all the spaces, and he came through so fast and whooped into here, and there was a white truck, the white truck had to slam on its brakes, so I come over here, I was just going to be like, hey man, chill out, like chill out, don't be like that, but he wanted to go back and forth and argue with me and give me all kinds of stuff, and like, I didn't have any tickets and I didn't grab a rider this morning, so I was like, man, look, this, it didn't have to go this way. He kept going back and forth, back and forth, so I was like, alright, sure, I'm going to put you in front of this week. Yeah, I was, I was going to be, I'm a dick, but I'm not going to be that big of a dick. He has a different phone he wanted me to grab. Claire, on gate, I'm not my any anything on gate. See that the phone? I would have come straight over here from the hood and I don't know if you would have down, but I was a little middle. Uh, it happens. Yeah. 46? Uh, where's the other phone at? I can't find it. Right in the, next to the parking brake lever in the, in the center. It should be sitting there. Okay, the the blue, blue phone. Blue phone? Okay. It should be just sitting vertical by the... Okay. Hey, it's, it's blue? 
Yes, sir. Oh. Show S A T L. I'm the, I don't I don't I don't I don't know this guy at all. I don't know anything about him. But he he wanted kept wanting to go back and forth, back and forth, and argue. And I was like, if I had a ticket book, I'd have just written him a ticket. But, uh, you have a writer? Uh, uh, paper you got paper tickets? Yeah. That's what I'd rather do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do this a different way. So the other officer has a ticket book he's gonna let me use. We're gonna receive, be receiving the citation, okay? And, uh, because I think going to jail is a bit excessive. But, well, I agree with you, but I didn't have another option. I don't have another ticket book and I don't have a ticket writer with me. So we're gonna do it that way, okay? Mm -hmm. Step out for me. Take your time. Tighten up. Ah. Oh my god. Well, You're loosening that edge. Right. The press of that scar is going to hurt. Can you me case number? Here's 5885. 6201. Yeah. This is a good address for you. Phone number for you. 
Okay, I see the sign right here, it's not a mission guild. Mr. Show is no longer in custody. It's not an admission guild, it's just a promise you'll contact the court on or before the date and time that's written on here. You can contact the court at the bottom here, the information's there and also up there. Ready to go, sir. Oh, Texas, Texas, Texas. What the fuck is going on in Texas? You don't know either, right? I'm going to show you another one that comes from Texas. Oh, my God, man. Listen, this is nothing new, what you're about to see. This is nothing new. It doesn't just happen in Texas. Fucking happens everywhere. And it's been for a long, long, long time. This is how the district attorney and all the arresting officers get rewarded. When they bust you with money or whatever the fuck, they make you forfeit that shit. And then that becomes part of your plea agreement if you so happen to make one. Uh, that part of the plea agreement is that you have to forfeit that money. And that's how those fucking scumbags get away with not ever giving you back your money. In the meantime, though, look, man, let's check out some fucking for real, for real highway fucking pirates down here in Texas, baby. Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stunning allegations of highway robbery in a small Texas town. Dozens of drivers claim they have been held up for cash and cars and jewelry. Now, they say it's happening here in Tenaha, Texas, just east of the Louisiana state line. Now, even more shocking is who some victims are blaming. Not, ro not robbers or bandits or drifters. They say it's police. Police who they say are no better than common criminals. Now, the police deny the accusations against them. Gary Tuckman tonight is keeping them honest. We've heard the same story over and over. Drivers telling us this small stretch of Texas highway was a trap, a systematic ambush. Amani Busby of Maryland was forced off the road here. They took everything out of the car. They took all of us out of the car. Jennifer Boatwright and Ronald Henderson were driving through with their two kids. They tell us they had $6,000 with them to buy a car when they were stopped. He was already going through the glove box and he had he got Ron's money. Roderick Daniels was coming through from Tennessee. He says he had $8,500 in cash also to buy a car. They took all of it. It makes me feel sad. Not more than angry, I feel like, man, there's no, no justice even with the law. Over the last two years, scores of drivers, virtually all of them African-Americans or Latinos, say they couldn't report these crimes to the police because the men who forced them to pull over, the men who took so much from them, are the police. Roderick Daniels' journey took him here to the tiny town of Tenaha, Texas, population about 1,000. On this portion of US-59, the posted speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Daniels says police pulled him over for going 37 in the 35. Police asked Daniels if he had money, and he says he told them he had the cash to pay for that new car. They said they would charge me with money laundering. <laughs> I, I actually thought that this was a joke. I'm like, money laundering? It, 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 it sounds so dramatic. Two cops brought him to jail. He was frightened, had no idea what he'd done wrong, but was told no charges would be brought if he left behind his cash and jewelry. To be honest, I was five, six hundred miles away from home. I was very petrified. So he agreed to the deal. Roderick Daniels was released from this Texas jail without his money, without his jewelry, without the car he wanted to buy, and without any hope he would see his valuables again. But now he realizes he's not alone. Jennifer and Ronald were also offered a deal. 
this one in writing, and the district attorney signed it herself. It's a form letter, a kind of get-out-of-jail card that says, in exchange for forfeiting their $6,000, no criminal charges shall be filed, and our children shall not be turned over to Child Protective Services. The cops terrified their son, Jonathan. So what did he say about your parents to you? That we're, they were going to be taken away. Me and Jacob would be put in CPS or foster care. His mom says the DA showed up at the police station, berated her as a bad parent, and also threatened to separate the family. I said, if it's the money you want, you can have it. You can have it. If, if that's what it takes to keep my children with me and not separate them from us, take the money. Amani Busby was with her young child. The first police officer who pulled us over would say things to me like, um, your son's going to Child Protective Services. He's going. He's going. Um... You're not saying what we want you, what we want to hear. So what's going on here? This attorney has filed a class action lawsuit on behalf of 150 drivers who were stopped at Highway 59. There's disproportionately going after racial minorities. And my take on the matter is that uh, the police in Tenaha, Texas, were picking on and preying upon people that were least likely to fight back. The cops in the county took their money, and yet none of them was ever charged criminally. I believe it's a shakedown. I believe it's a piracy operation. Records show this town and county have made a lot of money doing this. Under Texas law, police, in fact, are allowed to confiscate money and other property if it's believed to be used in a crime. But if the person is not charged or is found not guilty, the valuables must be returned. The lawsuit claims Tenaha and Shelby County often keep the money no matter what. I was uh, angry. This Texas state senator is leading the fight to reform forfeiture laws. Partly because he's shocked at what he's heard about in Tenaha. To have law enforcement and a district attorney and the criminal justice system essentially be crooks, in my judgment, uh, it should infuriate and does infuriate everyone. The town has made many forfeiture arrests of people who really have been guilty of crimes. But when you include the alleged fraudulent arrests, roughly how much money has the tiny town taken in? The attorney has done some math. The amount is close to $3 million. $3 million. So what are they doing with that money? We found a $10,000 check from the DA directly to this man, the cop, who pulled over most of these drivers. We had questions for him. We're doing a story about this guy, Roderick Daniels. He was pulled over here by you a year and a half ago, and you took his money and his jewelry. Do you recognize him? I cannot uh, comment. And we had questions for the DA. After avoiding us, we finally located her. We were surprised to find her on center stage. Many of the drivers pulled over on Highway 59 tell us they are guilty of one thing and one thing only, driving while black or Latino. So we didn't expect the cop who many are complaining about to be this man. His name is Barry Washington. It seems like you guys pull a lot of people over, though, and take their money and take their belongings more than I've seen in any town before. What's your response to that? I cannot make a comment. This is not a litigation. This is a, a lawsuit. Well, I appreciate your yes, your courtesy to me, but yes, that's the story that we're doing, that it just seems like there's a propensity to do that. I don't have anything to say to you right now. Okay. And I've told you that twice. Okay. Well, if I could just ask you one final question. Yes, yes have a safe trip. Have, have a good day. The district attorney wasn't as easy to find. We made repeat visits to her office. We came here yesterday and we asked if she'd be in today and we were told she would be in today. I thought she was going to be, but she's not. That's all I can tell you. But you can't tell me if she's on vacation or just not wanting to talk to us. That's what she's doing. Well, it is her business because the taxpayers pay her salary. So it really is her. It really is the public's business. So, yeah. Ultimately, they told us she would have no comment. So we looked elsewhere for D.A. Linda Russell. And we found her on stage belting out country tunes at a fire department fundraiser. We couldn't get near her until the event was over. Miss Russell? Yeah, guys. Miss Russell? She doesn't care to speak yeah. to anybody. Miss Russell, my name is Gary, talking with CNN. She doesn't have anything. I want to have, I need to ask her. Miss Russell, I just want to see if you want, I just want to see. I want to talk to you. But we kept trying because we'd found out even more about her that raised serious questions. Texas law states that when money and valuables are legally taken from motorists charged with crimes, it can only be used for the official purposes of the DA's office and for law enforcement purposes for police. We acquired copies of hundreds of checks the district attorney wrote over the last two years. The entire account funded only with money the cops took from drivers they stopped on the highway. 
Official purposes? The documents show the DA has given herself wide discretion in how she spends the forfeiture money. Here's a check and receipt for a popcorn machine at Popcorn costing $524. Here's another one, $195 for a poultry festival. She bought Tootsie Pops, Dum Dums, and Double Bubble for the event. Here's one, 400 bucks for catering from Pete and Jennifer's barbecue. More records show she made donations to clubs and organizations she seems to like, including the local Chamber of Commerce, Youth Baseball, Good causes, but official business? According to the check registry from the District Attorney's Forfeiture Fund, at least two checks totaling $6,000 were given to this Baptist church in Tenaha. But this one, this check really stands out. This is the check the DA wrote for $10,000 and paid directly to police officer Barry Washington for what are described as investigative costs. So we wanted to give the DA a chance to explain why would she write such a huge check directly to a cop and why it seems the cops are targeting so many minority drivers. She doesn't want to speak to you guys. Sir, I'm not asking you. If she doesn't want to comment, she can tell me. She, she, she doesn't She's the district attorney. Even, she doesn't even want to, to speak to you. I, know she, I need to give her the opportunity. That's my job to get both sides of the she story. Has, she knows that she has the opportunity. She doesn't care to speak to you. The DA's personal attorneys did give CNN a general statement. Ms. Russell has denied and continues to deny all substantive allegations set forth. She has used and continues to use prosecutorial discretion and is in compliance with Texas law, the Texas Constitution, and the United States Constitution. George Bowers has been mayor here for 54 years. The class action suit also names him. We try to hire the very best trained. They have all the training, and we keep them up to date on the training, you know, where they, where they will follow the law. You know. So you have faith that they've done the right That's thing? That's right. All the defendants in the lawsuit deny the allegations and say they followed the law. The Hendersons and Amani Busby spent a lot of money on attorneys and eventually got their seized cash back. But Roderick Daniels, like scores of others who has been charged with nothing, is still out the $8,500 the cops took from him. For a husband and father of four, it's a lot to lose. To this day, didn't understand why, why did they take my belongings off me. Maybe he'll find out someday. From the cop, this is on litigation. Yeah. We'll just have to see what happens in the courthouse. Or from the country singer. Whose day job may be getting her in big trouble. All right, guys, that was Texas Christopher. What did you guys think? Now, you heard him say in that video, oh, well, I pretty much have to go through it and arrest you now because if I don't, you're going to go down to the police station and file a complaint, but it ain't going to count for nothing. Well, fucking shit, it ain't going to count for nothing. That's the same thing them pieces of shit did to me. As soon as they, as soon as they hand you some kind of complaint or, or, or lawsuit in some way, they have to figure out something to arrest you for. They have to. This fucking train in my goddamn fucking head. Hey man, listen, check this out. This next video comes from Mr. Nice Guy Activism. Listen, anybody, anybody who tries to raise awareness is a fucking hero in my book. Let's check out Mr. Nice Guy Activism, baby. Let's go fucking train.
most customers are complaining about what? A guy standing there saying, God bless the homeless? Nobody's giving me any money, I haven't taken anything.
That video came from Mr. Nice Guy Activism. What did you guys think? I mean, look, personally, I think anybody, anybody who takes time out of their day and goes to stand on a corner somewhere or any anything along those lines just to raise awareness to, uh, to a problem fucking plaguing our country, there should never, never be a homeless veteran. There should never be someone who fought for our country who was fucking homeless. What? What? That's fucking crazy, man. Fuck this government. Jesus Christ. You see that girl's titties in there? She's got that big fucking titty. But hey, uh, if you guys have made it this far, you have made it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me for a couple minutes today. I appreciate you guys. A uh, very, very special thank you to the channels I highlighted today. That was Chad Alley, Issue TV, Texas Christopher, and Mr. Nice Guy Activism. If you guys are unfamiliar with these channels, I always keep the original links in the description. Make sure you head on over. Check them out, man. Just, just look at their shit down my thing. Get fucked up with them and, you know, all that other stuff that we like to do. I mean, in the meantime, if you're looking to get offensive with me, though, I'm on all the majors of social media. All the majors. And I get banned from them all like fucking crazy. So, whatever you're on, type in us first, them, PGH, and come hang out with me wherever you are. We'll get fucked up together, we'll post some very offensive shit, and we'll get banned together. And that's pretty much my my goal for uh, everything else. So, uh, you guys are important, cared for, valuable. Definitely, definitely appreciate it. If no one has told you guys yet today, just know what I like. See you in. Cheers, guys.